Hey everyone, I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And today we're going to be going through a free brochure we got from the Greenwood, Indiana Library. It is about the total solar eclipse on April 8th of 2024. In an event 819 years in the making, 1205 September 14th, the last total solar eclipse visible from what was to become the Circle City. Save the date. Eclipse Day is April 8th, 2024. Indianapolis is an excellent place to see totality. The eclipse begins around 1.50 p.m. EDT. The eclipse reaches totality around 3.06 p.m. EDT. People in the Indianapolis area will experience approximately 3 minutes and 45 seconds of totality. The photography credit goes to Rick Galloway. Experiences total solar eclipse. The entire solar eclipse event is caused by the moon moving in front of the sun. Casting a shadow on the Earth's surface, the event is broken down into a series of contacts. First contact. The eclipse begins when the moon first touches the sun's solar disk. Observing with a safe solar filter is an absolute must. During the next hour or so, the moon hides more and more of the sun. By about 15 minutes prior to totality, sunlight becomes noticeably dimmer. Diamond ring. Very close to totality, you'll see the diamond ring stage. It shines like a brilliant diamond set into a pale ring created by the pearly white corona surrounding the moon's black silhouette. This is stunning to see. Bailey's beads. Just prior to totality, all that remains of the sunlight are a few shafts of light called Bailey's beads, which look like a few brilliant beads at the edge of the sun that disappear one after another. Second contact. Totality begins when Bailey's beads vanish. The brilliant solar surface is hidden, and the sun's corona glows around the black moon's silhouette. Third contact. The second set of Bailey's beads appear on the other side of the sun. Totality is over, and you must put your solar eclipse glasses on, or solar viewers on now. During the next hour or so, the moon reveals more and more of the sun. Fourth contact. The eclipse ends. The last tiny indentation of the moon on the sun disappears, and the moon no longer covers any part of the solar surface. The eclipse is officially over. Fun total solar eclipse facts. Sorry. Thousands of years ago, many people were terrified of eclipse and thought they were due to all kinds of monsters, bad omens, and curses. Native American Pomo tribe of California believed that a hungry bear walking through the Milky Way ate the sun. The word eclipse is Greek for abandonment or downfall. The longest historical total eclipse lasted 7 minutes, 27.54 seconds, on June 15, 743 B.C. There are between 2 and 5 solar eclipses around the world each year. However, a total solar eclipse occurs every 18 months or so. The shadow of a solar eclipse can travel at more than 2,000 mph across the surface of the Earth. When the surrounding sky is dark during an eclipse, it's possible to see constellations and even planets as if it were nighttime. About 600 million years from now, there will be no more total solar eclipse. There will only be annular eclipse. The moon is moving away from Earth at a rate of 4 centimeters per year and will be too far away to cast a shadow on Earth. Eye safety for total solar eclipse. Here are some important safety guidelines to follow during a total solar eclipse. View the sun through eclipse glasses or a handheld solar viewer during the partial eclipse phases before and after totality. You can view the eclipse directly without proper eye protection only when the moon completely obscures the sun's bright face. You'll know it's safe when you can no longer see any part of the sun through the eclipse glasses or a solar viewer. 
As soon as you see even a little bit of the bright sun reappear after totality, immediately put your eclipse glasses back on or use a handheld solar viewer to look at the sun. And there is a solarsystem.nasa.gov website that you can view. Other safety tips. You cannot tell that you are injuring your retinas while you stare at the sun because it doesn't hurt. This is especially true during partial phases of the eclipse. You won't know about the damage until it is too late. Only use ISO approved solar glasses slash viewers. Purchase from sources that get glasses from approved suppliers. Hint, avoid large online shopping sites that don't verify their suppliers. Links to several retailers are provided on the back page. Never use glasses viewers that have been scratched or damaged. Never touch the lenses of glasses or viewers. There are many ways to view the eclipse indirectly. We have provided links with additional information on the back of this brochure. Never look at the partial phases of the eclipse without certified eye protection. Photography credit, Rick Galloway. Here is an awesome eclipse simulator. It shows you where the sun is going to be at. Totality happens at slightly different times in different locations. Visit the simulator to find out when totality will happen in your area. For a downloadable copy of this brochure, go to www.iasnd.org. That is www.iasnd.org. Indiana Astronomical Society, established in 1933. Here are some useful links that show you the simulator, great shops that have products related to the solar eclipse, and other useful information for your solar eclipse viewing pleasure. Thank you for watching. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Eclipsed. <laughs>